Welcome. In this module we will learn the process of supplementary invoice, seller. Welcome. The purpose of this module is to share updates on the supplementary invoice generation functionality by sellers, which was introduced to allow them to create a supplementary invoice against the rejected quantity by consignee. Eligibility criteria for supplementary invoice creation are as follows. Applicable only for goods. Seller has accepted and created the invoice for that order. Consignee has generated the PRC, CRAC with some rejected quantity. Not applicable for deemed, auto, PRC, CRAC cases. All the replacement invoice would be treated as a new invoice. Sellers can declare the reshipment only once for the shipment. Invoice. Seller should have option to generate the multiple invoices for the declared shipment. Let's take a look at how to generate a replacement invoice if the consignee rejects the quantity during the PRC, provisional receipt certificate, generation process. Consignee can view the contract details under the Consignee View tab on Product Order page on their dashboard. To view consignment details, click on Process Order. Click here to generate PRC. After processing the PRC, a confirmation message on green colored ribbon will be displayed on the top of the web page. If the consignee rejects the quantity at the time of PRC, seller would get the option to create a replacement invoice on the order details page. Click on Orders to go to the orders page. On the order details page, click on Shipment Wise tab to proceed. Click here to create a replacement invoice. In this section, we will explore how to create a supplementary invoice in the event of quantity rejection during the CRAC, consignee receipt and acceptance certificate, generation process. If consignee rejects the quantity at the time of CRAC generation, seller would get the following options to create the supplementary invoice for the rejected quantity. Rectification at consignee end, rectification at seller end, replacement at seller end, rectification and replacement at the seller end, rectification at consignee end and replacement with seller end. All the above option will be available to the seller within the delivery period of the contract order. Click to generate, create a supplementary invoice against the rejected invoice. Seller will be required to select the supplementary invoice type from the drop down menu. Enter the rejected quantity and mention the reason for rejection. Click Submit to proceed. A confirmation will be shown in a pop-up window. Click OK to proceed. All the rectified invoices details page will preview the reference of previous invoice. How many times can the sellers declare reshipment for the invoice? Sellers can declare the reshipment only once for the shipment invoice. Can supplementary invoices be created for services? Supplementary invoices are only applicable for goods. If consignee rejects the quantity at the time of CRAC generation, what options would seller get to create the supplementary invoice for rejected quantity? If consignee rejects the quantity at the time of CRAC generation, seller would get the following options to create the supplementary invoice for the rejected quantity. Rectification at consignee end, rectification at seller end, replacement at seller end, rectification and replacement at the seller end, rectification at consignee end and replacement with seller end. We hope this presentation gave you the detailed insight of intent of buying PAC. To refer this presentation for future reference, you may refer training module section on gem.gov.in. Thank you.